Merry Christmas, everybody. Alan Doyle from Great Big Sea. I'd like to read for you one of my favorite poems, Christmas at Sea, by Robert Louis Stevenson. The sheets were frozen hard, and they cut the naked hand. The decks were like a slide where seamen scarce could stand. The wind was a nor'wester, blowing squally off the sea. And the cliffs and spouting breakers were the only things of thee. They heard the surfer roaring before the break of day. But t'was only with a peep of light we saw how ill we lay. We tumbled every hand on deck in stanter with a shout. And we gave her main topsail and stood by to go about. All day we tacked and tacked between south head and the north. All day we hauled the frozen sheets and we got no further forth. All day as cold as charity in bitter pain and dread. For very life and nature we tacked from head to head. We gave the south a wider berth, for there the tide race roared. And every tack we made we brought the north head close aboard. So as we saw the cliffs and houses and the breakers running high, and the coast guard in his garden with his glass against his eye. The frost was on the village roofs, as white as ocean foam, and the good red fires were burning bright in every long shore home. The windows sparkled clear and the chimneys volleyed out, and I vow we smelled the victuals as the vessels went about. The bells upon the church rung high with a mighty jovial cheer, for it's just that I should tell you of how, of all days in the year, this day of our adversity was blessed Christmas morn, and the house above the coast guards was the house where I was born. Oh, well, I saw the pleasant room, the pleasant faces there, my mother's silver spectacles and my father's silver hair. And well, I saw the firelight, like a flight of homely elves, go dancing round the china plates that stand upon the shelves. And well, I knew the talk they had, the talk that was of me, of the shadow on the household and the sun that went to sea. And oh, the wicked fool I seemed in every kind of way to be there hauling frozen ropes on blessed Christmas Day. They lit the sea light, and the dark began to fall. All hands to loose the top-gallant sails, I heard the captain call. By Lord, she'll never stand it, our first mate Jackson cried. Well, tis the one way or the other, Mr. Jackson, he replied. She staggered to her bearings, but the sails were new and good and the ships melt up to windward, just as though she understood. As the winter's day was ending, in entry of the night, we cleared the weary headland and passed below the light. And they heaved a mighty breath, every soul on board but me, as they saw her nose again pointing handsome out to sea. But all that I could think of, in the darkness and the cold, was that I was leaving home, and that my folks were growing old. We'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two sunkers. Way straight through the channel, the tossed low. 